hungry, huh? Hi, I'm Madeline with Vision Earth Channel, and we're here at the Pinecrest Farmers Market. There's over 50 different vendors inside, and you can find anything from raw food, all organic produce, honey, flowers, anything you can think of. So they're here every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., and they're voted best farmers market by the Miami New Times. So we're going to take you on a little tour on the inside so you can see for yourself what they have to offer. Hi, I'm Madeline with Vision Earth Channel. I'm here with Margie, and you said that you were the founder of Redland Organic. Yes, and Bee Heaven Farm is our farm. Um, we have a group of farms that work together. We're certified organic, and a few of the fruit suppliers are not certified organic, but they are pesticide free. I personally check everything, all the growing practices, before I allow them to join our group because I don't want our organic produce to be contaminated by the potential of any pesticides. So. Everything here is certified organic or pesticide free and it's all locally grown. If you draw a line across the top of Lake Okeechobee, think from there on down, that's where everything here is coming from. Uh, it's either from us or from one of our partner farms. The amount of produce that's coming from, say, my farm in particular or from any single farm depends on the, the part, the time of the year and what's ready to harvest. Um, for example, this year our farm got a late start because we had a lot of heavy rain here late in the summer and we were also putting a greenhouse in that was disrupting everything. So our stuff is going, coming in later. Right now we have, we have ours, more herbs and some beans and such. Um, and the other farms are contributing more of their things. One of our other farms to whom we sold uh, the tomato seedlings now, their tomatoes started coming in. Ours are lagging behind. So we cover the season among us and we all work together to do that. And how long have you been in business for? Uh, we started the farm, we, we bought the property in 1995. We became certified organic in early 97. We've been coming to market since 2002 and we also run a community supported agriculture program and that stands, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but basically it's a program where every week uh, people sign up for either a family size share or a smaller share and we give them whatever is ready to be harvested that week at the farm to fill the box. So it varies from week to week, it varies from season to season. We, this is our 13th year doing that now. Amazing. And is this the only stand that you go to? Is there any other farmer's market where they can reach you? Or At this you point in time, we only, we're only doing this one market. We do have, because we, we work together with other farms, some of the other farms take some of our stuff to their farm stands as well. So there's some back and forth there. And do you have a website where people can reach out to you or yes. look you up? Yes, beheavenfarm.com. And that is spelled B E Heaven H E A V E N Farm F A R M dot com. Awesome. Thank you so much, You're Margie, for taking your time out and speaking to us. Hi, I'm Madeline with Vision Earth Channel. I'm here with Lamoy of Lamoy Living Foods, and she's about to show us a couple of the things that she makes here. They're, it's all living food, it's all organic. So tell us a little bit about this. Sure, it's all vegan raw foods, and I'm gonna give you a sample of different things to see how you like it. Here, I have a spicy cabbage with scotch bonnet pepper, and you have to try it. How was that? Mm. Yeah, very good. Very good. So tibule. Give you a bowl so you could eat it over it. Which one? So what is so it? walnut tibule with parsley, cel um, celery, peppers, onion, garlic. So you try everything and see how you like it. This is a cucumber beet seaweed salad, like an herb meat the sea salad. So it's cucumber beet ginger, wakame seaweed to be exact, and chives. Awesome. Yeah. Hello, how are you? And this is a curried cashew. So the base is cashew nut with peppers, celery, tomato. Try it. Got 
to try the bread. It's a dehydrated flaxseed bread, and we make sandwiches with the curry. And the sandwiches are like this. Sandwiches over here. girl today. All this is amazing. So far, I really love the cashew. The cashew. I love it. Everything is good, but the cashew is amazing. Amazing. And the sandwiches are outstanding. With the flaxseed bread, curry cashew, tomato, onion, um, parsley. It's amazing. So I think you tried everything. Yes, everything was great. So, is this the only stand that you go to? Is this? No, 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 no. Where I can we find to, you? Um, all over. I go to Borough County. I go to Key West. I go to um, UM um, with the students there every Wednesday. Also, I go to Coconut Grove Farmers Market. Awesome. Does it? Uh, are you? Is there set days that you go, or are you constantly Saturday, changing? I'm in Coconut Grove. Sundays I'm here. Wednesday I go to UM, Thursdays I go to Key West, and um, sometimes Tuesday I go to Broward. And people can reach you by phone to order as well, or? Take my sign, take a picture. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm here with Colin of Dr. Pickle. How are you today? Wonderful, how are you? Awesome, so tell us about your pickles. So everything you see here, we grow locally here in Florida. It's everything's farm to table. Uh, we do a local fermentation on almost everything, so it's full of probiotics. And you get a three month shelf life. Everything's raw, so you get your full nutritional value. We don't cook, we don't pasteurize it, unlike your store bought. There are no dyes, no coloring, no unnatural preservatives. So we bring a health benefit of everything we offer, whether it's from your probiotics, your electrolytes, your full nutritional value of whatever you uh, produce that we do pickle. And we have a range from your old school sours, your half sours, your dills, to some unique spicy pickles, sweet pickles, olives, and our ever popular beets and sauerkraut. So the beets is your most popular? The beets is actually one of our most popular items, believe it or not. Um, the way we do it is we slow roast it first and then pickle it. We're able to take that earthy taste out of it that a lot of people don't like. Um, and it's a superfood. It's your number one source of antioxidants, full of protein. And we save you the hassle and the mess of roasting beets. By the time we're done with it, when we make it ourselves, we're completely covered in purple. And is this the only stand that you have, or can we find you anywhere else? Yeah. We actually do about 12 markets throughout southern Florida, um, a week ranging all the way down to the Florida Keys all the way north to Fort Pierce. We even go as far as Naples, Marco Island, um, and markets in between. Awesome, so we can find you here every Sunday? You can find us at the Pinecrest Market every Sunday from nine to two. And do you have a website or can we reach you by phone? Yeah. Uh, you can check us out on our website. It's Dr. Pickle, spelt out, dot com, or uh, reach us on Facebook at Dr. Pickle on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, and then our email is cbb587 at gmail.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Colin, for taking the time to tell us about the pickles. Yeah. These two ladies were part of a collection that I made for a series, a maternity series at a gallery and the exhibition was um, Unconditional Love, Love of Family and Love of Country. And so they, they wanted the maternity ladies for that. This is, they all have different names, but it's a rapid firing. It's a firing that you pull out of the kiln at 1800 degrees, obviously you wear protective uh, equipment, and then you're going to put it in a trash can, a metal trash can with combustible materials. You could be a sawdust, straw, leaves, newspaper, anything that's going to catch on fire, and then you close the lid, and then the carbon from the burning will go into the clay where it has not been glazed. So that's this is all just the raw, raw clay, it's raw clay, and this is raw clay here, and that's where the smoke goes. Also, the shock from going from the 1800 to whatever the temperature is of the day will cause it to, to kind of crack and respond, and you get like the metallics or you'll get the crackling. 